Hey folks, so I'm currently dealing with a couple of infected piercings, which sucks, but I figured maybe I can turn this not so good experience into something that may help you guys. So I'm going to go through everything you need to know about infected piercings, how to identify infection, what you should do to treat it, what you shouldn't do. So I'm just briefly going to let you know what's going on with my infected piercings, but if you don't give a shit about what's going on with my infected piercings and you just want to get to like the helpful info part of this video, I will leave a timestamp on the screen so you can can just jump to that section. Okay, so long story short, I got my earlobes pierced on Thursday, slept on them that night, they did not like that. The next day they were very swollen and red and sore. The day after that they were so swollen that there was no room left on the barbell because um, I got them pierced with a needle and so I actually had to swap over the jewellery into stuff that was longer to allow more room for swelling and all that. I've had a lot of piercings so I know my shit when it comes to aftercare so I was cleaning them as you should um, but they just wouldn't calm down, wouldn't settle started getting infected and pussy and all that jazz. I reached the point where I realized that I was not going to be able to clear up this infection externally just by cleaning them and that I needed antibiotics. So I went on antibiotics yesterday, have been on them for about 24 hours and there has already been a very significant improvement. So that's where we're at. So that's enough about my shitty experience. Let's get on to the info that is actually useful to you guys. Firstly, I want to talk about how to identify an infected piercing because just because a piercing is a bit sore and swollen doesn't mean it's infected. When a piercing, or any wound for that matter, is infected, there will be increased blood flow to the area, which means that the area will become swollen, red, and quite warm. The piercing and surrounding area will be quite tender or even very painful, and then there's the dead giveaway for infection, which is pus. If your piercing is displaying some of those symptoms, but you're not 100% sure if it's actually infected, go and visit your piercer, get them to have a look at it, and then they can tell you whether or not it actually is infected and give you some advice. Next up is treatment, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. You should keep up with cleaning the piercing two to three times per day and the best solution to clean a piercing with, regardless of whether it's infected or just going through the normal healing process, is saline, i.e. salt water. Salt is a natural antibacterial which is strong enough to kill off the bad bacteria without being so harsh that it also kills off the good bacteria. It's best not to use something that's going to kill off all of the bacteria, both good and bad because the good bacteria can kind of keep the bad ones in check. There's no need to buy a pre-made saline solution because it's super easy and cheap to make for yourself. All you need is water and sea salt. It needs to be non-iodized, natural, pure sea salt. You don't want table salt, which has like iodine and other stuff in it, like anti-caking agents. You don't want all of that shit going in a piercing that's already very angry. So just keep it as natural as possible with pure sea salt. When it comes to the ratio of salt to water, I do believe you can Google that and find like exact measurements. I never bother with exact measurements. I just kind of eyeball it. I find that the easiest way to tell if the saline is strong enough or weak enough is to give it a taste. Basically, it's just salt water. It's not gonna hurt you. It should taste like your tears and not the ocean. If it tastes like the ocean, that is too much salt, you need to dilute it. If you can barely taste the salt, you need to add more. When using saline solution to treat an infected piercing, the best thing you can do is to actually soak the piercing in the solution. Depending on which body part the infected piercing is in, you can either soak it in like a shot glass or an egg cup, or if it's in a part where you can't really do that, the other option is to soak cotton pads or cotton balls in the solution and all you need to do is hold the soaked cotton on wherever there's an open wound of the piercing. So for most piercings that'll be two um, but then for things like dermal anchors that'll just be the one open wound. Soak the piercing for a good five minutes or so and do that twice a day every day until the infection goes away. Now you may do that for a good few days and get absolutely nowhere. If the infection gets worse or it's just not getting better then I would suggest going on antibiotics because clearly attacking the infection externally isn't getting you anywhere so it's time to attack it internally. Okay so that's all the things that you should do to treat an infected piercing so I'm just going to talk about a couple things you shouldn't do. Now this one is super important so listen up. 
do not take out the jewelry. If you feel as though the jewelry itself is what's causing the irritation and the infection, go back to your piercer and get them to swap the jewelry to something that is of higher quality and hypoallergenic, such as titanium. But whatever you do, do not just take out the jewelry and let the piercing close up. Because what happens then is the infection basically gets trapped inside the piercing because it has nowhere else to go. You've taken out the jewellery which was keeping the hole open and allowing the pus and infection to exit the wound. So once you take the jewellery out, the pus has nowhere to go and so it kind of just forms this little cyst of grossness which yeah you want to avoid that. <laughs> A couple of other things that you should not do, if the piercing is on your ears you want to keep your hair far away from it because hair holds bacteria. If it's on your face avoid getting makeup into the piercing as well as other things like any skincare products you use. And if you do not have clean hands do not touch the piercing. We touch so much nasty shit throughout the day, there is so much bacteria on our hands so you don't want to be touching a piercing with your filthy fingers. Okay. That was a lot of information. I'm done now. That is all I have for you on infected piercings. If you are currently going through that experience, I hope this helped you. My ears are rapidly improving after starting a round of antibiotics, so it looks like they will be just fine. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe so that you can be given a heads up when I upload my next one. Follow me at these places to keep up with what I'm doing in my life and also other little updates to do with this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you later. You would not believe the number of times I fumbled on my words throughout this video. <sighs> the magic of editing. <laughs>